Good morning dear children. I am little bit upset today. Do you know why? The field mouse is missing. I was trying to search him everywhere but I couldn't find him. Will you join me to search our field mouse? Then let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Someone is screaming. It? Yes, it's our poet. He is getting angry on our field mouse. And I think he is warning the field mouse. Shall we go and listen what the poet is saying? Field mouse, field mouse, do not go where the farmer stacks its treasure. Find the nut that falls below. Eat the acorn at your pleasure. But you must not steal the grain. He has stacked with so much pain. Dear children, did you listen what the poet was saying? Yes. The poet was warning the field mouse. Why? Because the naughty field mouse is always going to the farmer's house. And he's stealing the grains of our farmer. Is it good to steal someone's food? No. But here the naughty field mouse is stealing the grains of our farmer. Farmer is the one who cultivates, collects, and stores all the grain for us. And you know, farmer's treasure is his grains and crops. But this field mouse, its farmer's treasure is his grains and crops. And he hard very, and he worked very hard and puts a lot of efforts and pain to stack his treasure. So the poet is advising the field mouse to find all the nuts that falls below. You can happily eat all the nuts that falls below. But don't steal the farmer's grain. But field mouse, don't get upset. I think the poet will give you a good advice to live happily. Shall we go and ask the poet? Okay. Make your hole where Moses spring underneath the tall oak's shadow. Pretty, quite harmless thing. Play about the sunny meadow. Keep away from corn and house. None will harm you, little mouse. Dear children, did you listen what the poet was saying to the field mouse? Yes, he was giving a good advice to our field mouse to live happily. What was the poet saying? He was saying to the field mouse to build a hole near the moss spring. The poet advised the field mouse to build a hole near the moss spring so that you will get the shadow of tall oak tree field mouse and also you can play in the sunny meadow. So field mouse don't go near the farmer's house and don't touch his corns. So none will harm you field mouse. Will you obey the poet? Or will you do the naughty things again? What do you think children? Will he obey the poet? Or will he do same thing again? So dear children, we have learned today three new words. The first one is stacks. S T A C K S stacks. The second word is treasure. T R E A S U R E treasure. And the third word is meadow. M E A D O W. So Will you share about your idea? Will you share your thoughts about the field mouse? Will he obey the poet or will he do the same thing again? Okay dear children, see you in the next class. Bye bye.